Oh, I'm so glad y'all stuck around. I'm Christine McKellar, your host. I'm here with a fantastic, I love that word, that's why I use it a lot, Marcel Forestieri and the woman of a thousand faces, Mickey Manning. And we were talking about a gig where you two just like this whole thing happened where you, they're a couple, I mean, as together. Just it, the way yeah, them. like a professional uh, a team. A, a, a team. And yes. like I said, everybody works together, but there was something happened, I think, that night. That and this was again, what was it? Refresh it, it was over the Italian American Club. It was it. a 60s, 60s uh, mob review. type review. She was in, she was singing a very sultry version of Fever. Uh huh. And so she said, I need you. And plus, they wanted me to do a couple other things from the audience. Right. right. So she said, I need to come, come down and to make in the thing her boyfriend jealous my, she's my gonna sing <laughs> she's gonna sing uh, a verse to me so <clears throat> so we're in, we're in rehearsal and she comes and and she puts her back up against me and wraps her arms around it and she's singing the verse of Romeo and Juliet from right. from Fever. Now oh. I, I wasn't familiar with that in rehearsal. She gets to this <laughs> I one told line. I the line. <laughs> wait, 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 listen. And then so then she puts uh, in rehearsal. So, so she's singing and then she goes to this to me and I go. Huh? <laughs> and and I thought and she, I said what's I don't know the line she, and I thought this is how he remembers it. I thought she said. Juliet, for thee I burn. <laughs> it's not even close. Okay. It's, well, baby, you're my flame. Now give it to me. And he says. Well, so so I thought the words were Juliet, <laughs> Juliet for thee I burn. So now we're in the show. We're in the thing. We're facing because I was up front. And it's we're all sultry. And, and I lean back and I go. And I go, Juliet, for thee I burn. And I died. <laughs> It was a total Carol Burnett and Tim Conway moment, and I busted. And I mean, I'm great at improv. I'm improv trained, and I started cracking up. Love totally it. lost character. Oh, so I said, "Oh, it's on now. You just on, wait. Yeah. I'll get you back. Yeah, I have yeah. it yet." And that's <laughs> we, 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 is something. We, we said, oh, let's take a look at this. Let's oh. take a look at what we have. Uh, you know, there's a, a a simpatico, there's a chemistry going on out there, and we didn't. And it was in retrospect, like we went to a few functions and we showed up and made some appearances, this and that, blah blah blah. But when we did, there was this uh, synergistic energy that. And I said, "Did you feel that from the people?" She says, "Yeah, I felt that too." I said, "It's kind of funny." So it wasn't until that night, and I said, "We might as well capitalize." And then when Absolutely. I saw mm -hmm. her Melania, I went. Uh, it's gonna be huge, <laughs> you know. If he gets in, it's not every right now. It's Donald and it's Donald and Hillary. Donald and Hillary. Donald. Donald and Hillary. That's all the impersonators Did you do. Doing. Hillary. No, okay, I, no. But when, <laughs> but if he gets in, I try to stick with super hot. Okay, no, it's Hillary. Oh, 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 oh. Did I say that out loud? All right here. But that's it. If tr if Trump gets in, uh huh, it's not gonna be Trump and Hillary. Right. It's going to be Trump and Melania. That's true. Yes. Yeah. So, so you have a, yeah, I was going to ask yeah. one of my questions, actually, was how is the election going to treat you guys? And he's been doing Trump for so long. I mean, this has just yes. been a wonderful ride because the public frenzy over Donald is just right. so huge. And Melania, Very although they've kept her in the background a bit. Definitely. But they're I, bringing her out more and more. Right. Well, they have. You're seeing it. You know what's nice to see, too? I was just um, telling Marcel that I'd watched a, a new, a re more recent interview with her where they're actually giving her some airtime. And she's coming across much more intelligent. She's very intelligent. She speaks multiple languages, but the language barrier makes her come off an intelligent. Yeah, I can see that. People, she, well, they're thinking. I don't, I, I don't know how some multilingual people do it. They just switch from one thing. Okay, so you're not. And I'll tell you how though. dedicated she is to the Melania character. She is currently learning four new languages. Oh yay! It's a lot of work. Let me tell you. <laughs> and you have to switch persona for each language. <laughs> what is your most favorite persona? And with when you have all these personas going on in your head. <coughs> Elvira. Oh. Elvira. Oh no, that's your most favorite. That men hands down. It's Elvira. Uh -huh. Yeah, for me, it really still has to be Lucille Ball. I, I just, oh. I love Lucy. There's, it's such a compliment when you can play that funny. And yes. I mean, Lucy is so much more funny than I am. Right. But I didn't even know I could be funny until I started doing her and getting in the moment. And I'd walk in and just see a prop and, and make up a skit. And I don't do that naturally. That was channeling Lucy. And mm -hmm. I think she always surprises me. So maybe I can get Marcel to do Ricky for me. And yeah, you want to give it a go? You got you some splaining to do. Ha, ha, ha. And we never did that before. First no, time. we never have. First, no. time. First time. First time right here. That's so Vegas. <laughs> you sing, you dance, you do makeup and hair, and you're multi-talented as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of... Uh, 
do, I mean, you two really. I, so, are you going to put a like a package together? Well, well certainly well, Donald and Melania. Yeah, but but it now. I mean, we're saying well, maybe there's other. You so know, many like couples. just well, just that uh, the the uh, mobster and mall uh, picture that they you saw that uh, earlier. Uh, just that one little tiny thing we did that night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're already being approached for. Mm -hmm. To be and it was characters. all spontaneous. It was it totally spontaneous. Scripted. I mean, yes. I started, went into this Marissa Tomei voice and was <laughs> like, what was I like? Hey, honey, I got to go sing now. Where should I put my gum? You know, and I stuck it on the music stand, right? I'm sure the guy that was, was no, horrified. No, 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 you didn't. Here was the, mu no, here's the microphone. She went like this, and everybody thought, oh, she's just going to go like this. And she goes, and she turns around and she sticks it <laughs> underneath the music stand. I oh, and I said, out. oh, I'll be back to get that later. <laughs> and I, I, mean, I, did, I don't know where it came from. It just happened. It's <laughs> interesting. And you're from Oklahoma, not even from Jersey. Right. It's just all that's coming out. I forgot that's where hilarious. you're from, Marcel. Originally. You may know. I don't know. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, from, I'm an East Coast boy, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. Okay. That's not that far apart, really. Yeah. Oklahoma, Delaware. Was that little same. accent he did, the, yeah. the Goomba one, that's probably closer to home for you than any of the other characters you do, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just somewhere between Joe Pre Pesci and, and um, what was, was, was I told Craig Gaynor? Oh, no, 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 it was uh, the guy up on the on the stage. I said, I said, do some, uh, I said, do some uh, 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 Jerry Vale. He goes, I don't know any Jerry Vale. I go, whoa, we're in the Italian American club. Don't be a stoner. Do some freaking Jerry Vale. <laughs> All right? And by the way, Tony Soprano sends his regards. Dang. <laughs> and he totally improvised that too. So that's, you can see how this little bitty segment. I just saw his eyes change. <laughs> that was really weird. Your you got scared, eyes didn't changed. you? Absolutely. It was interesting. <laughs> you even had it down to the eye squint thing. <laughs> I think over time, our corporate characters that we're doing, that we get paid you to do. You do a lot of corporate. We're just going to be developing yeah. a show inadvertently. And I think that's what's happening is we just keep organically having these things happen. It, mm -hmm. We're going to have to either go on a cruise ship and That'll I don't know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but uh, it's exciting. Yeah, so you'll have a whole, a, a whole portfolio of different characters. Yeah. So are you planning on some touring here? or? Well, you can't plan. In, in this business, you can't plan oh. on what, you know, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to have two corporate gigs every week. I see. <laughs> Wouldn't and, it be uh, nice, though? Well, it would be nice. But what we do is just put it out there and things like this and, uh, and let it happen. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen organically if it doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't I don't know but it just it just seemed it would seem a waste not to because every time we do a, 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 a set of characters there's something happens and we go okay well there is something special with you too because I know that all of the tribute artists there's a, it's like a big family I was at the convention sure. but you, you have to work with what is given to you like at the Italian American Club but obviously there's something took it just went a little bit step further because right. maybe it's both your sense of humor is what I think that, and sometimes I think it's like, she's got the it factor. <laughs> and so it's a lot easier to, uh, <laughs> I said it. Oh. <laughs> I heard it. I think it's a true love for doing it too, though. I just came back to this five years ago after being behind the scenes. I was a celebrity makeup artist. I'm an, a painter and a photographer. And Oh, she was... Uh, Bill Gates's. I was Bill Gates' makeup artist for five years. Well, oh, that must and have been something. I yeah. still do headshots for fun. I did Marcel's Donald Trump headshots. That's and amazing to be inside of Microsoft like that. Oh, that's it was really wild. It, it was yeah, it was very this incredible. Internet platform was designed by a retired Microsoft executive, by the way. The oh, WCOBM wow. streaming live through the uh, internet. Wow. So that's interesting. We have a little cousin really? connection there or something. No Bill Gates, that's crazy. Uh, after all that, bringing yeah. everything back full circle and Oh, you meeting could do Bill Marcel Gates and his wife. And that would be real hard, wouldn't it? That would be a... Do Bill Gates. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. How would that Okay, alright, here's Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a billion dollars. Five. Just made another billion. <laughs> Really so funny. <laughs> yeah, that was that was. I hate to throw a bombshell at you like that because I know how hard Bill is to <laughs> impersonate. <laughs> you know that we are almost out of time, and I just feel like we sat Darn. down a minute ago. Wow. Is there I thought special? we were just warming up. We were we just were. warming up. Anything special you want to throw out there for the viewers before I make a quick announcement? Well, I guess we'll have to let you know when we have something public since we do so many corporate private shows. Yes, absolutely. We'll be working on that. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, good. Right. Well, I do want to be posted. And I, I am so happy I met you because I just adore him. And now I adore you, too. You guys are wonderful. Ain't she a hoot? Yes, Aww. she's a hoot. And I can't wait to really get the whole party started when you guys, I want to see this all in action. Definitely. 
Thank you for staying tuned here to that So Vegas. I was going to give some quick shout outs about what's coming up, but the only time I'm going to have time for is that Barbara Streisand's Nine City Summer Tour includes Las Vegas at the T Mobile Arena. Wow. Wouldn't you know? Cool. Yeah, there's a ton of foodie things coming up in May and June. Go to VegasOnlyEntertainment.com under Vegas VIPs. That's my website for more information. Take care. Have a great day. See you next week. Bye bye.